This episode of Terra Luna Classic is all about the revival of this ecosystem. And if you guys are, are interested in the revival of the ecosystem, you have to engage with it. You have to do stuff with it. You have to, when we pull out meme coins, you got to buy the meme coins. If uh, Buy, sell, make a, make a profit. Do your thing. Do your investing properly, but help each community. Play the video games. If the video games aren't good enough, you let the developers know. They improve the video games. It gets better and better. This is a zombie chain that has a chance at resurrection, but it takes each and every one of you. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content because we're covering this every single day. And we're going to kick this off with the big news of the day. So a little bit of a new format here. Binance burns additional Terra Luna Classic uh, after the monthly burn, they just, for some random reason, uh, sent more tokens to the burn wallet. So uh, it wasn't a lot, by the way. It was only $59 million. Uh, it's just it, it's just a weird sort of uh, all of a sudden, I'm sorry, 57,000 uh, just random tokens they sent to the burn wallet. I'm not sure why. There's no real uh, indication, and they haven't explained themselves, but uh, if you want to, you can go check this article out. It's on CoinGape, and it kind of tells you exactly what happened and what's going on broadly. doesn't give you a, a specific. Also, uh, Vegas has put out a revive Osmosis IBC client proposal, probably coming to governance very shortly because this is uh, upgrading it so that it's usable and allows for the seamless transfer between Osmosis and the Luna Classic chain. Um, so the IBC client probably pretty important to uh, continuing the revival of the chain. So we'll be looking uh, at that for some kind of update. And uh, the provide liquidity, I'm not sure it hasn't been up for a vote yet. Uh, but freezing this is very interesting, uh, by the way. Uh, freezing the LFG reserve. Remember, we talked about this about two days ago. And the proposal was basically to freeze the Luna Foundation Guard wallets. Now, incredibly, and I'm going to say this incredibly, People are actually talking about, I don't know why you would do that. Um, Ice Gets, of course, said this is a vote yes for me. Um, uh, there's, it's important to note that freezing this, has there been ver has this been verified by a lawyer? Uh, I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm assuming, assuming, of course, that anybody who would put up a proposal like that would be going to, to do that. Um, I don't know if they, they know it or not. As a matter of fact, they've answered already. So you go check that out for yourself. Uh, yes vote, submit your proposal. Uh, but then other people are coming in here. Do you even have any evidence that potential theft or misuse will be present? Why does that matter? This is the Luna Foundation Guard. Their job, their their single job was to protect the peg and they failed in their task. Their, their, their tokens, all of that, none of that was for public consumption to begin with. It was for the protection of the project and the project is no longer protect, protected. So those tokens, those would be a great opportunity. There'd be a, a, an enormous chance right there of a significant amount of burn. Uh, and that's 1.8 billion tokens and 222 million Luna Classic, not nearly as much, but the USTC, that's actually kind of important to be able to pull, uh, you know, let's call it 25% of the supply and just absolutely reduce that to zero. Uh, would be a, an incredible move and would give us a much clearer objective on a repeg. Might even give us enough if it were the the burn. Might even get us closer to like a five cent repeg. I mean, you want to repeg to a nickel instead of a penny, probably. So, and, and will that be, it wouldn't exactly be, by the way, five cents, but you get my point. My, my, my point is the more you can burn without causing any uh, problem, if you will, especially considering this is abandoned. And we don't know who has access to the wallet. They could dump it any time. So we have no idea what exactly is going on at LFG. Uh, we assume that they're good actors, but we don't know. It's important. And I think that this, this is something that we probably should do. Again, not because I don't believe in the freedom of people, uh, because we're decentralized and everybody should have a say in it. But I think when everybody has a say, this is not a person this is an organization who failed at their job and they don't deserve the tokens as a pseudo reward. And anybody who gets access to the wallet doesn't deserve it as a pseudo reward. I mean, we should be clear about that, right? So anyway, um, station proposals, uh, change the official CS API endpoint to all nodes. Looks like it's getting closer and closer to passing uh, on Lunk Dash. You can see the, 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 the voting uh, starting to, to fill out pretty nicely in green. 21 votes for yes. Interstellar stepped up big time. 
Ninja, Lunk Live. We've had a couple of big validators step up. Small validators. Moon Rabbit Validator, for some reason, doesn't want progress. Keep telling you guys. Um, Jesus is Lord. No with veto. Moon Rabbit Validator. Jesus with Lord. Neither one of them uh, are uh, putting wanting to put a person in charge. Now, is that decentralization? Or is that because they don't want to see progress? Ask yourself that question. Answer yourself that question. Continue to validate with them or don't validate with them based on what they vote. If everybody else is voting uh, yes, everybody else, including all nodes, we already know that, voting yes. And for some reason, these, what I keep calling bad actors, are voting no. Then you got to ask yourself why. Uh, and then you've got ter terrarium, which is abstaining. But I mean, there you go. It's right in front of you. All you have to do is pay attention to it and you will know exactly what these people think every single time. Now, uh, let's keep going here. We're going to do price action here without a uh, without a transition. Uh, so we had a nice little run. Uh, a, a nice little run. Didn't go as high as I thought. I thought 11.6 was going to be that run. So I don't think that we're, we're done and it's over. But the U.S. market about to wake up after a good CPI report. So, uh, but we went to up 11.2. Uh, roughly, roughly eleven two sixty one was the uh, wait a minute eleven one one eighty seven was the number we got rejected over here right around this little chop, and uh, I would expect to see a little bit more of a move up into eleven three eleven six in the coming hours. We got that rejection back down uh, as the European market sold off a little bit, but we got this nice wick right here, which to me signifies like it does down here a turnaround and some upside momentum. So. You know, maybe we see a big push up here to 11.6 right now. Uh, just again, just the top of this range right here. I think if we can kind of drive into that, that's going to show some some pressure and good stuff, good information, good news uh, keeps coming out. So, uh, and again, by the way, repeg being worked on. Um, everything that I keep telling you about that needs to be uh, done, being worked on. Uh, so overall price up $30 million in trade volume. That's really the important part. But we're up 2.22% in market cap, uh, USTC, uh, down a little bit, but who cares? Now, here's the interesting thing, right? I keep asking you and I keep telling you guys that engage with this, this, you know, this, it, it turn this, you know, quote unquote, zombie chain into something more. If you do that, then uh, good things most probably will happen, if, if that's fair enough. Now, if that is fair enough, then Coin haul. Um, if you guys are into meme coins, and I think that most of you are, then perhaps you should be looking at meme coins because, you know, first of all, Terra uh, for Terraport is up uh, five and a half percent. And you see some of these are down over the course of the day, but look at this. Uh, Lazar, named after Bob Lazar, already up 12,000 percent in the last seven days, up 20x in the last uh, 24 hours. And by the way, I told you about this for two days in a row now. So if you if you didn't notice it, then now's the time. Uh, LMT up 87x, uh, C Hall's up 37x, Meme is up 20x, THC is up 14x. How come THC is not up 420x? I don't know. Or 442.0x or 4.20x? You know, come on, keep it real. Uh, Queen is up 8x, Candy's up 7x, Doc is up 6x, H Lady is up 5x. Mint is up 5x. Look, there's a lot of stuff going on in this ecosystem. Uh, Elbun, the Elbun project, guys. I keep talking about Elbun project up 3x in the last uh, seven days. MBA is up 2.5x. There's plenty of different things happening out here. And you guys, if you're not engaging with this chain, you're missing out. Now, if you want to, you go to coin, uh, you go you over here to, to uh, uh, coinhall.org, and that's where you do it. And see, I've got um, uh, in my wallet here, I've got LNC, I've got Lunk, I've got Nmeme, I've got Cookie, uh, Hmeme, I've got Lenny Lunk, uh, I've got Lunk Pepe. Uh, engage with these guys, you know, go go out here and buy yourself some of these tokens and just see what happens. I got $50 worth on some of these and they're up 2x already. So, you know, just, just grab some and see what happens. Now, you can also, by the way, click over here and you can check out a bunch of different uh, chains. So if you're so inclined... And so interested. But today we're going to talk about Lunk uh, Metrics one more time. Now, uh, Lunk Metrics basically tells you the technicals of what you need to know about what is going on out of the original 6.79 uh, trillion circulating supply. 5.8 trillion are currently in circulation. Uh, 113 billion have been burned so far over the last seven days. You notice this is a significant drawdown, and we, and we haven't seen a drawdown this light. That means that volume 
which I will go back to. Uh, volume over here really starting to dip and starting to decline. When we look at the broader markets, then you see that most of the volume still continues to be over here on uh, Binance. But here's the thing. Bybit, OKX, Kraken, you know, if all of these guys were actually moving to a chain that was burning, uh, and by that I mean either weeks, uh, which has low volume, uh, which either is weeks or uh, Binance, then guess what? We'd be burning a lot more. We only had $7,000 in trade volume over here at weeks. And if you're interested, come down here, trade at weeks. That's that's where we want people to go. And we need those people to know it. So make sure you're sharing it. Uh, I have a link uh, in the description below. If you want to sign up, uh, certainly go do that. But um, you know, if you uh, want to burn more tokens, there's a way that you do it. You have This is how you have to do it. So uh, start doing it. However, you can also come down here and see MEXE. Uh, they don't burn anymore, but they are uh, significant trade volume. And then weeks over here, if you're interested in, in, if you don't like me and you like them, just do it with somebody. Um, then here's a tracking of the burns. Uh, here's the price and market metrics. If you are so inclined, 621 million market cap, what we already talked about, what the price is, how much it's up over the last seven days, what the trade volume is. Uh, here's a chart showing you exactly what it looks like. It looks like my chart every single time. Uh, and, and again, I tell you guys, the, the most important thing that I see right now is this sort of channel that's coming. Uh, I think it's probably going to be more like that right there. But here's the thing. Uh, I, I think that this right here uh, is going to make a move up here and that we're going to be getting into this 23, 24 range right there uh, because we've got it here. We've got it here. And it, it, each time it comes back down, it comes back up like that. So I think it's going to do the same thing. Um, but that's, you know, that's that's for you to decide whether or not you agree. So, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, and then here's the top burners. Uh, you've got uh, Binance, how much they burned. And then you've got everybody else on the list here. Um, Terra Casino, another big burner. If you're, if you're, if you're a fan of risk-based gaming right here, Terra Casino, somehow they are burning a ton of tokens. You know who you're not seeing here? Fire token. Don't forget that. You're not seeing fire token anywhere. So um, there are some very exciting plans coming for cryptonomy vip users make sure that you're signed up to the cryptonomy telegram follow the twitter account for rewards and prizes there's going to be extensive promo programs and giveaways for all cryptonomy vip users also uh, i've introduced a unique opportunity for users to evaluate the platform's performance and share your personal experiences so if you are looking to do that your comments can be posted on cryptonomy.finance slash reviews. You guys know what I've been saying. You know I think XRP is about to have a moment. So we're going to make a deposit over here. Uh, we're going to do 10,000 XRP right now. We're going to stake that for, we got another 12 months. So we're going to put that in there, 120.7% APY. We're just going to stake this long term. Scheduled amount is going to be 12,075 XRP on the way out. Uh, the yields continue. The launch pool, TARS protocol, did a 13x. Xverse, remember, did a 4x. Blade Swap did a 5x. Uh, these guys are finding really good projects, putting them out there for you. So make sure you sign up for cryptonomy.finance today. That's it, guys. That's your information for the day. Uh, hope you found this useful. And guys, there's a lot to like in the Luna Classic ecosystem. You just got to go looking for it. Go find yourself some games. Go check out Lunk Metrics. Go check out Lunk Dash. Go check out uh, Galactic Shift, Teratritium. Uh, go check out Frag. There are so many different little games being built. Uh, go to um, uh, BigBangX.io. Buy yourself some NFTs. It's not that expensive. Uh, spend some spend some Luna Classic in this ecosystem. Show people that this thing can grow. And if you do that and, and we build it, then they will come. And then when retail really comes back into this space, they're going to be looking for uh, a comeback story. And guess what? Everybody loves a comeback story. Everybody. So uh, this comeback story, it's about to take hold. It's about to take root and blow up. But it's not financial advice. I'm always right. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.